Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best smart TV. Starting at number 5. Samsung QN900C. 8K might seem a bit much to some, but if you're going to buy a large size TV and you'll feed it high quality 4K pictures, given the absence of 8K movies, there's no doubt that the Samsung QN900C can be a clear step up. The set offers fantastic picture led by its superb color, high brightness, terrific sound and outstanding black tones, all in a package that's unmatched in terms of design. At 1-40th the thickness of a regular LED, Samsung's Mini LEDs are more closely packaged, allowing for a greater number of dimming zones, resulting in more accurate black tones and a perceived better contrast. This has one of the most advanced Mini LED screens so far, and the magic trick here is combining it with Samsung's AI upscaling, which can take 4K images and make them look closer to 8K resolution, so there's real benefit in the higher resolution. Put simply, the QN900C is consistently able to produce images that look better than their source, as long as they're high quality in the first place, HD video or low bitrate streaming isn't so transformative. Coming at number 4. Samsung 65-inch. Co the Samsung S95C is groundbreaking. Although it may not be the brightest OLED TV we've reviewed in terms of peak brightness, as the LG G3 was slightly brighter, you're still going to get a better overall brightness compared to the G3. The S90C still measured at 1400 nits, compare that to the 820 nits of the LG C3, and you can see why it's so interesting and expensive. It's so much brighter, which means it can look closer to real life and there's an even bigger difference between bright and dark. That's an astonishing improvement for OLED TVs, and it's not the only thing astonishing here. During testing of the S5C, we said it's particularly effective in taking high dynamic range video to a whole new level of enjoyment, drama and realism, but also feeds gloriously into the S95C's colors, unlocking new levels of color volume and purity, even in bright color areas, we've never seen before on an OLED TV. It's also packed with gaming features and HDMI 2.1 connectivity, and we measured a best-in-class 9.2 milliseconds response time when gaming. Even the sound is pretty good, though you really should pair this with a proper sound system of some kind. Tense. At number 3. Hisense U 8K. The Hisense U 8K's excellent picture quality, wide suite of gaming features and price point mean this TV is one of the best mid-range contenders. With a mini LED screen, the Hisense U 8K is great for viewing during the day and comes installed with Google TV as a smart TV platform, which is generally slick and packed with useful streaming apps. Although the Hisense U 8K uses a mini LED screen meant for higher brightness levels, it doesn't fail to offer deep black tones in its picture as well. Its contrast does however fade when viewed from an angle but with high peak brightness levels, we measured it at 1590 nits, and an anti-glare coating, the U8K is an ideal viewing companion if you've got a naturally bright room. The U8K also serves as a great gaming TV. Two of its HDMI ports are HDMI 2.1 and offer Dolby Vision Gaming as well as the usual VRR and ALLM support, also not forgetting that all-important 120Hz refresh rate. There's also a game mode included to get the best settings out of your video games. Number 2 of my list Roku Plus Series the Roku Plus series is a budget TV that provides very good overall picture quality that exceeds its price tag. Coupled with a great smart TV interface, the Roku Plus series is a real option for people looking for a new TV on a tight budget. Picture quality is the real highlight of the Roku Plus series. Colors are vibrant and have a real visual punch. Motion is also processed well with fast panning shots not suffering from much blurring that a lot of budget TVs tend to and images look crisp and clean. However, picture suffers a little when viewed from off-center, and the Roku Plus series has average brightness levels, so isn't the best for brighter viewing environments, but it's hard to argue against the quality of picture you get with the Roku Plus for the money you pay. The Roku TV Smart TV platform built into the TV is one of the better smart TV interfaces. 
It's easy to navigate and comes with a wealth of app options and even offers the Roku Live TV portal that enables access to a load of free channels. It's worth noting that accessing picture settings within the Roku Plus series can be a real pain, but Roku TV still sits as one of the best smart TV platform. And number 1. Samsung S90C. The Samsung S90C takes the top spot on our best TV list because it does it all, excellent picture quality, sleek design, brilliant gaming performance and it gives you access to QD OLED technology for the cheapest it's ever been. With prices dropping over time too, this gives you real OLED bang for your buck. With excellent contrast levels, dynamic and punchy colors and deep, rich blacks that we come to expect from an OLED, we found in our review that the S90 sees extra brightness compared to the LG C3, further down this list, or Sony A80L really adds an extra layer, despite these TVs all costing the same. Its sharpness levels and detail are also a sight to behold. One thing to note, though, is that the 83-inch model uses a regular OLED screen that's much less bright, and we would recommend getting the 83-inch LG C3 instead. Not just a beautiful TV, the Samsung S90C is also a gamer's paradise. With a refresh rate of 144Hz, it has four 2.1 HDMI ports that all support ALLM and VRR as well as 4K 120Hz. It also has a gaming hub so you can tweak setting easily to get the most out of your games. Add to this built-in sound quality that beats almost all other TVs, including LG's OLEDs, you get a complete package with the S90C. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.